Hello and welcome back to the AGF channel. By popular request, today I have a quick and easy project making a woven braided basket using 12 fat quarters from Bundle Up Prairie Edition. Make your creative time go farther with this curated collection of themed fabrics. This group of best-selling prints offers balanced hues and is full of beautiful autumnal colors to make your sewing time fun and enjoyable. This quick and easy braided basket is also a great way to use up all those scraps laying around in your sewing room. Mix and match your strips or color coordinate your fabrics to make these fun and practical containers. Use this basket to keep your desk tidy, store sewing notions, or make a few up as lovely gifts. Here's what you'll need to get started on the braided basket. One and a half inch by width of fabric strips cut from bundle up Prairie Edition fat quarters, a rotary cutter and mat, scissors, a ruler, and a safety pin. Cut your fat quarters into strips that are one and a half inches by width of fabric. After you've cut your strips, mix them up and grab three random strips to get started. Lay them out and pin or tape to your work surface. Now we'll start braiding the strips together. To keep the right side of your fabric showing, you can fold in your sides, wrong sides together as you work. To add a new strip. When you get to the end of a strip, stop at about one inch from the end and place your new fabric on top. You can fold over the edge or leave it as is. It won't show much when it's all sewn together. Pinch or twist these two fabrics together and continue braiding. After you've braided your fabrics, you'll be ready to start forming your basket. We used approximately 120 strips from the bundle for a total length of 560 inches when braided. You can make yours larger or smaller to suit your needs. First, form a small coil by curving your braid with the long ends on your right. Secure your coil with a back stitch. And then start sewing with a small zigzag stitch working in a clockwise direction. If you're having trouble getting the coil onto the presser foot, simply press it down a bit with your hands to flatten it. We're using the number one foot on the Bernina with a 1.5 length by 3.6 width zigzag stitch. I'm using a chrome ballpoint needle, size 9014. You can also use a denim or heavy needle. I worked the basket until the bottom measured in at approximately nine inches, four and a half inches from the center. Once you have that dimension, you will use your left hand to slightly tilt up the edge as you sew. The farther out you get, the more you will press the sides up toward the sewing machine.
When the sides reach a height of seven and a half inches, you can trim the braid and then turn under the edge and lock your stitches with some back stitching. Trim any loose threads and your basket is complete. Take a break and enjoy your beautiful braided baskets. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the AGF channel for more crafty sewing content. And until next time, happy sewing.